We all know cats are ass. They wake us up at 5 a.m. and they knock all our stuff off tables. Sometimes they even bite us in the leg, causing us to go to the emergency room, get bandages, and be on antibiotics. Don't they, Moon? More on that later. But did you know cats can also say sorry? Here's 10 ways cats apologize. While cats do experience a rich variety of emotions, everything from love to sadness to fear, it's worth noting that cats' understanding of human misbehavior is huh? non-existent. So don't expect your cat to run up to you when you come home with a bouquet of roses, some chocolates, and serenade you with a symphony of forgiveness because it's just not gonna happen. Cats don't innately distinguish between right and wrong. Instead, they respond to human cues. Our vocal tones, body language, and facial expressions all serve as cues for them. Studies indicate cats are adept at reading human emotional expressions and adjust their behavior accordingly. The notion of a cat apologizing is anthropomorphic. But cats do seek to mend relationships with their human companions and owners if they sense disruption. This reconciliation can take many forms. These behaviors aren't apologies in the human sense, but more of a way for cats to re-establish harmony and social bonds. Number one is purring. When a cat purrs after conflict, it's not just seeking comfort, but also offering, creating a peaceful atmosphere conducive to mending relationships. Purring has been studied due to its dual purpose functionality. It not only expresses contentment, but also has healing properties due to its vibrational frequency. Dr. Elizabeth von Mugenthaler's hypothesis states that the frequency at which cats purr 25 to 150 hertz is the same frequency that's been shown to support bone density and healing. Though it's worth noting the supporting evidence for this comes from observing these frequencies in therapeutic contexts, e.g. via physical therapy devices. So while there is scientific support for the notion that vibrations can expedite tissue healing, the specific assertion that a cat purring has significant therapeutic benefits is a bit of a leap, and the mechanism through which this would work is largely theoretical but I'm not sure why there hasn't been a study like this, because you just need two identical twins, break both of their arms in the same spot, put one in an empty room and see how he heals, and put the other one in a room full of cats that are just constantly purring, and boom, you have your comparison study. Number two is head bunting. This behavior is linked to the cat's scent marking practices using the glands located around their face. By depositing their scent on a person, they're not only marking them as part of their in-group, but also sharing their scent profile as a sign of trust. The act of headbutting re-establishes social bonds through the exchange of personal scents. Number three is slow blinking. Slow blinking in cats has been compared to the human act of smiling. A study by Humphrey et al. 2020 showed that cats are more likely to blink to their owners if their owners have blinked to them first, suggesting mutual communication and a form of positive interaction. In the context of apologies, this exchange can be seen as a cat say, all is well, promoting emotional security and connection. Number four is licking. Grooming or licking is a social bonding behavior that is observed across the animal kingdom, particularly in cats. This mutual grooming is not only for cleanliness, but also serves as a stress reliever and a sign of trust among group members. When a cat licks a human after a stressful encounter, it's extending an olive branch, utilizing grooming as a way to express care and maintain social harm. Number five is gifting. The act of bringing toys or prey back to their owners is rooted in a cat's instinctual behavior of bringing back food to its group. This behavior is seen as a sign of trust and respect, as well as an offer of sharing of resources. Though it may seem peculiar to humans, this act is a significant gesture of goodwill and an attempt to contribute positively to the social group. Number six is rubbing. Similar to headbutting, rubbing against a person or object is a form of scent marking. This behavior reinforces the cat's social bond with its animal companion or owner by mixing scents, which is a critical aspect of feline social life. Rubbing serves as a reassuring gesture that strengthens the sense of belonging and companionship. Kneading, often referred to as making biscuits, is a behavior that originates from kittenhood. This act, associated with the comfort of nursing, is believed to be maintained in adult cats as a sign of contentment and relaxation. When a cat needs a human after a misunderstanding, it's a deeply rooted expression of comfort seeking and offering, symbolizing a desire for closeness and reconciliation. Number eight is following or staying close. Cats choose to stay close to their humans or fellow cats as a sign of social preference, which is indicative of their complex social structure and emotional bonds. 
This behaviour underscores a cat's commitment to their social ties, choosing proximity as a way to maintain connection and peace. Number nine is playing. Initiating play is a critical aspect of cat behaviour, serving multiple purposes from establishing social hierarchical bonds to honing hunting skills. Playful behaviour after a conflict can be a way to alleviate the tension and communicate the desire to interact positively. Play is a way for cats to return to friendly, neutral interactions, easing any residual tension from previous conflicts. Number 10 is vocalising. Cats use a variety of vocalizations to communicate with humans and other cats. Soft meows, chirps and trails are all used in friendly contexts, and they can be directed towards humans as a greeting or a form of attention seeking. These sounds differ significantly from the vocalizations used when cats are afraid or acting aggressive, indicating a nuanced communication strategy at maintaining social bonds. Vocalizing after a tense situation can be a cat's way of breaking the ice, signaling a desire to move past conflict and engage in peaceful interaction. So there's 10 ways cats say so. And as promised, here's a little bit more information on when Moon bit me. So he has this habit of always following me and watching me in the bathroom. And then as soon as I flush, he, in a Pavlovian manner, has been conditioned to just run away. Except on this one day, he didn't run away. He just stood in front of the door. And I was so used to him just running away that I closed the door without looking. And I accidentally caught his tail in the door. And he reflexively turned around and he bit my calf and it hurt like hell. And I don't know if you've ever been bit by a cat, but their teeth are so razor sharp and they can go so deep in your skin that I had to go to the emergency room. I had to get bandaged up and I had to go on antibiotics as well because um, there's so much bacteria in cat's mouths and because the way their teeth are designed, they go so sharp and so deep. So that was fun. But he apologized. He showed all those reconciliation behaviors and we're past it now.